Yo guys, up and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show my top 20 contact banks for 2024. And I do it every year. So I made one for 2023 and 2022. And now I've been going so crazy on these. So I have to make a part 3 for this year for 2024. And I would appreciate if y'all just leave a like, to subscribe and to comment on this video. If y'all like this at the end of the video. So make sure to watch till the end. There's a lot of sauce in here. And if you want some more really nice sounds, make sure to check out Lucaland and use code CONTACT30. I don't think I've ever made a 30% discount code. So use code CONTACT30. It will get you 30% off of your whole order. I would really, really appreciate that. And with that being said, I don't want to keep you into too long. So yeah, guys, let's go. So for the first bank, I have the Maverick. I have it on its default preset, as you can see right here. You have a lot of different options to choose from. It's basically just like a normal piano, but it has like a really, really nice sound for like Lil Baby or Rod Wave type of melodies. And I have this MIDI right here that I made, which I will use to preview some of these sounds. And I have one for guitars as well and for like for flutes and trumpets. But y'all will see that. So I randomized the velocities. I just laid down this pretty simple pattern, but I don't want to make this video on like how to make patterns. Y'all can watch the other videos. This video will be only about the contact banks and the sound of the contact banks. And I don't have any effects on this piano. So y'all can rebuild this pattern and like test your own banks or like sounds. But now I'll show y'all how the bang sounds and the Maverick sounds like this. Then for the second bank, I have the Jade Evolutions Bank. And as you can see right here, I picked this preset, which I can't really pronounce, but I choose the dark and melodic mood. And then these two came up and I basically clicked through them. And I really like this one in combination with the piano. So I will basically play the piano as like a foundation, I would say. And then just have these sounds play like as counter melodies, like some flutes or trumpets or like this, which is like a soundscape, I would say. And it has different articulations, depends on where you put it. It has a lot of presets, which you can see right here. And yeah, I picked this one and the finished pattern with the piano in the background is sounding like this. So yeah, it's a really nice bank to get like textures in the background and to make the background like a little bit more full to make the sample more full. And it has really, really nice sounds. So yeah, I'll make sure to get that. Then for the next thing, I think I had vocalized one and vocalized two in my previous videos. So basically for 2022, I had vocalized one and for 2023, I had vocalized two. So now we got vocalized three, which is basically just a bank for vocal phrases. You have different keys to choose from and like different phrases and you can adjust everything like the attack, the decay, like the reverb, the overall effects the eq and everything else it's a really really good bank for almost every type of sample i would say and i laid down this pretty simple pattern every note has like a different phrase and i load the velocity a bit and i don't gotta say too much it's really self-explanatory but vocalized three with the piano is sounding like this So as I said, I will show you all these banks without effects so you can get much more out of it when you just put like simple effects on there. So just keep that in mind while listening to these sounds. I would really appreciate that because I have some effect chains that make these sounds like way better. But I think these are some banks that are 100% worth getting. Then for the next thing, I have the Sunroom Upright Piano and I left it on its default settings. Just that you know, it's from Sound Iron and you have four different layers to choose from. You can even like fade them in or like mix them and you can manipulate the sound with like the volume, the attack, the offset, the release, the vibration battle and the panning and you can even change the pitch and you have some effects options to choose from here and i have this midi again i randomize the velocities again and the sunroom upright piano is sounding like this Then for the next thing, we got the ukulele right here. And I'm gonna show you all a crazy effect chain for it. But first of all, I'm gonna preview the sound. And it's a really, really nice sound. It's one of my favorite like string sounds. And as you can see, I have this pattern right here, which I think I broke down in the last video. So I basically just took it from the other guitar and pasted it in this pattern for the ukulele. And I randomized the velocities, I strummed some of it. But y'all can see everything step by step in the last video, which is a Gunner Young Thug and Wheezy tutorial. And it's a very simple pattern when y'all see how it's like broken down and how I made it. But that's not the reason I did this video. So I'm gonna just show you all the bank and then a crazy effect chain for it. So this is how the ukulele bank sounds like.
And yeah, I forgot to tell y'all, y'all have different articulations. Like, let's say I pick this one right here, which sounds like this. Then this one, which is like a bend up. You have a lot of different articulations right here, as it says, like velocity controlled articulations. So you can like get the velocity down, then it's a normal node. And then you can play with the velocity to give it like a different articulation. And then for the effect chain, I have this RC20 in there just for the wobble and the EQ. This simple fresher, we're at the mid at to 90% and the high to 32%. This Valhalla Vintage Warp with these settings. This simple Soothe on its default settings. This EQ just to cut out some of the lows. And I have a 27% in stereo. And now I'll show you all the ukulele pattern with the effect chain. Y'all can use this for every single guitar or even like flutes or strings it makes a huge difference so this is the ukulele with the effect chain So then for the next bank, we have the Ivory Wind from Ambertone. And I left it on its default settings. Y'all have a stage option right here, but I just turned it off. Or basically, I didn't turn it on. And I laid down this pretty simple pattern, which fits the ukulele, which I will play in the background. So just that you can get a hang of what it sounds like with like a main melody. And I'll randomize the velocities to make it sound a little bit more realistic, which you can do with Alt and R. And the flute pattern with the ukulele is sounding like this. Then for the next bang, I have this Vespertone Celesti. But with the Vespertone bang, you have like a Rhodes, a Vibratone, a Wurlitzer, and this Celesti. So you have four different instruments to choose from. And I have this key pattern again. And with the Vespertone bang, it sounds like this. Then for the next bank, I have this Unicord of Fell. And as you can see, you have a lot of different presets to choose from. But I just picked the default preset, like the basic one. You, so you can really manipulate the sound right here. But I, as I said, I left it on its basic, on its default setting. And you have different options to choose from, as I said. And the pattern with the Unicord is sounding like this. Then for the next thing, I got this Chris Hein Guitars, which is with the Nylon Full preset. And it's basically on its default settings, but with this Chris Hein Guitar Bank, you have a lot of different options to choose from, but I picked the Nylon Full, as I said. And I have this pattern again, and keep in mind that these are with no effects, so you can get a lot more out of this bank with like a cool effect chain, which I just showed y'all. And the Chris Hein Guitars with the Nylon Full preset is something like this. Then for the next thing, I have this Organic Voices Volume 1, which is called Solo Opera. And I think I played with the release tails right here because it didn't really sound that good. And I put the instant legato preset on. But that's all I did. You have like a crazy, crazy opera voice sounding bank right here. And I just laid down this pretty simple pattern with... And I will play the ukulele in the background and both of these patterns together. So the Organic Voices Volume 1 is sounding like this. Then for the next thing, we have the Spaghetti Western Bank, and I picked the trumpet, but you have like different guitars, different trumpets, different bells, a drum kit, and many, many different other sounds to choose from. But yeah, I picked this trumpet, and I picked the legato articulation, but you have different phrases, staccato sustain, and everything for like a lot of these bangs. And I laid down this pattern again, but I changed it up a little bit right here, but that's not the main point of this video. So I will just show you all the Spaghetti Western trumpet, and it sounds like this. Then for the next thing, I have this Evolution Hollow Body Blues with the Junkyard Jam preset. And as you can see, you have a lot of different clean options to choose from and a lot of different crunchy options to choose from. So, as you, so yeah, as you can see, I picked this option right here and I didn't change anything. So it's like the default Junkyard Jam preset. And I have this pattern right here. I randomized the velocities and the Hollow Body Blues bank sounds like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Then for the next thing, I have the Chris Hines Solo Contrabass. Um, as you can see, you have a lot of different presets and articulations to choose from. I picked the Sustained Vibrato preset. And as you can see, you have a lot of different things to like change or to manipulate the sound. But I just left it on its default preset or like on its default settings. And I have the same pattern again. And the Chris Hines Solo Contrabass bank is sounding like this. Then for the next contact bank, we have the Chris Hines Solo Viola Bank. And again, you can go to Articulation Presets, then click here. And then you have like a lot of different articulations to choose from and even hotkeys. But I have it on Dynamic Expression Long. So I basically just left it on its default setting. And the Solo Viola is something like this. Then for the next bank, we got the Simple Violin from Fluffy Audio and you have different articulations to choose from again and you have like a pacing and stuff like that. You have like a different options to manipulate the sound, but I just left it on its default settings just to showcase it. And as you can see, I have the same pattern that I had on the electric guitar, but I'll just play with the violin and the Fluffy Audio Simple Violin is sounding like this. Now for the next thing, we have one of my favorite pianos, which is the Teletone Postcard Piano. And as you can see, you have a lot of different options to manipulate the sound again. And you have different presets with like different ages. So the sound gets like more old and more vintage, the more you go down, obviously. And it goes like more modern, the more up you go or like the higher you go with the age. And you can even make your own presets with it. So basically play with these settings right here. As I said, I will leave it on its default settings on the 1969 preset. But as I said, I will leave it on its default preset on its 1969 preset so it didn't change anything and this is the pattern i have and the teletone postcard piano is sounding like this Then for the next thing, we have this Vintage Organs Bank and I have the Tone Reel Organ C3 preset on. And when you go on Organ right here, you have like 12 presets to choose from just from this like simple preset. So you have a lot of different sounds or like a lot of different sounding organs for almost every type of sample. And you have a lot of different presets and like settings and effects to choose from. But as I said, I will leave it on its default setting. And I have this pattern right here and the Vintage Organs Bank with the Tone Reel Organ C3 preset is something like this. Then for the next bank, I have this piano bank, which is a Session Keys Grand Y bank. And it has such a nice sound for almost every type of sample. So it's like an all-rounder piano, I would say. And as you can see, you can like tweak the effects, the tonality and everything else. But yeah, it's on its default settings, obviously. And I have this pattern right here. And the Session Keys Grand Y is sounding like this. Then for the next thing, I have the Session Strings Pro with the Section 1 and 2 Violas production preset. And it's a very, very nice bank just to layer your sounds and to give them more warmth and more of a full feeling. So I just laid down this pretty simple pattern on top of the Maverick piano. So on the basic piano pattern I show y'all right here. And as you can see, it's a very simple pattern, but it's perfect, as I said, to layer these sounds or like to layer like your main melody with these strings. And the Session Strings Pro bank with very simple chords is something like this. And now for the last bank, I obviously have the Experimenta X bass. I'm pretty sure I showed that to y'all in my last Contact Banks video, but I gotta show it again because it's such an underrated bass and I don't see it anywhere else. You have to get this one. It's a really nice sounding bass for almost every type of sample and you can actually use it in every sample you make. It's such a good bass and the Experimenta X bass, the last Contact Bank for today is something like this.
and you can obviously go more crazy with the bass line and it has such a nice tone to it even in the higher notes but i just left it really simple just to like showcase the sound of it to y'all and yeah as i said it's a must-have bass if you have contact so yeah guys if y'all enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate every type of support on this video right here and if y'all haven't already make sure to check out my own kit store which is called lucaland and use code contact 30 for 30 percent off of your whole order i've never done a discount like this besides on christmas but that's something special so if you want to get something that's not from contact and like really really nice sounds and if you want to improve your sample making make sure to check out lucaland as i said i would really appreciate that and it would really really help me and if you haven't already make sure to leave a like to subscribe and to comment on this video and obviously turn on the post notifications so you'll get a notification every time i upload i would really appreciate that and with that being said go crazy on this video and thank you for going so crazy in the last videos and yeah guys see you